If I'm the head of a top law firm in the U.S., I think there's real reason to be concerned about the rise of the big four in the legal space. Not only around the world, but increasingly touching on the U.S. shores. One question that comes up is, why would a company, an organization, choose the big four over a big law firm? It's kind of a one-stop shop when you choose a big four firm. They're so multifaceted. They have such resources in both size, gross revenues, and the like. As of now, uh, the big four in total have about 10,600 plus lawyers worldwide. And that's in well over 100 countries across the globe. The largest among them is PwC, which has about 3,500 lawyers. They themselves alone have uh, more than 100 offices uh, across the world as well. The big four offer a range of legal services to their international clients, uh, everything from tax and immigration to corporate and finance. When folks ask about the impact that the big four has had and continues to have on the top law firms in the United States, I think in large part, the answer centers around the adoption of legal technology. They have pushed law firms to adopt faster. And the fact that the big four have adopted it much faster uh, that they've been uh, able to compete successfully uh, already and there's no reason why they wouldn't be able to continue to compete successfully uh, for client business uh, regarding the adoption of legal tech including artificial intelligence, uh, streamlining of basic legal functions, repetitive legal functions. The big four uh, took off in the legal space in the early 1980s. The Enron collapse in 2001 created a credibility crisis uh, within accounting companies. Uh, that helped spur the Sarbanes-Oxley Act the following year. It put a hold on the big four from expansion plans. American Bar Association Rule 5.4, which prohibits the sharing of legal service fees with non-lawyers. That, in essence, uh, prohibits accounting companies like the big four and others uh, of its ilk from co owning or co-owning law firms in the United States. So those laws have been in place uh, for many decades. Uh, but what's happened most recently is that uh, the California Bar, for totally unrelated reasons, uh, has, has stood up recently a task force. Uh, what they're calling it is in an effort to increase the access to justice. In addition to increasing access to justice, might well open the door to the big four, might allow them in for the first time in a way that they can compete directly uh, in a head-to-head -head fashion with the top law firms in the country. Then. It really could be the case that a big, a big four companies like PwC or EY could come in and open up their own legal shop and it would be applicable in enough states that it could really be a strong head-to-head -head matchup. The big corporations in this country, they're pushing for more and more adoption of faster legal tech. They want things faster, better, cheaper, and the big four is a looming threat out there in a, in a real way for big law firms.